This is going to be a fun, quick little video on how to do the NPC meme in uh, video. And uh, this is just going to be a quick tutorial. I made two other videos just to sample I've been working on. This one's a less uh, polished version, and then the second version, you can see, is a bit better. I'm going to show you how I did this, and uh, we'll start by, well, we'll start with the same video. So I'm using HitFilm 4 to do the video editing and I'm going to open a new instance and this should be similar to uh, like Adobe After Effects and things like that. I actually haven't worked that much with Adobe After Effects. I messed with it like once but I believe it has very similar uh, types of things. So I'm going to create a new project here and we're going to drag in the clip that we're going to be using. We'll drag this in, clip to the point that you want to use. So I'm going to move this to the start of the editor and then another thing I'm going to do is right click uh, transform and say fit to frame this will just make it fit to the full frame then what we need to do is make this into a composite shot this will do will allow us to do advanced editing so that's control M we'll make this composite shot here and the first thing uh, you want to do is the tracking right here we have tracks and so if you press plus you can insert a tracker here and then this green is where the tracker is going to look inside of uh, to determine what to track so if we're going to do the nose start in the nose we can move this target area here and then this red inner square could make it larger this just narrows on where it's tracking what you want to do is go over here to the track method it's optical flow and then you can just press track forward and now this should stay on track with uh, the nose so you can see as as the head is moving uh, the tracker is staying in place with the nose this will may take a little bit of time the tracker may uh, lose track at some point and I'll show you how you can fix that as well okay so I'm going to stop here at 30 seconds for the sake of time um, you can tell it, it tracked pretty well here. It got off track just a little bit. And what you want to do is go to the last point where it was a good tracking. And you can use the arrows here to go back a frame or forward a frame. And you go to the next frame to where it's a bad frame. And then you just move these targets. So this tracked the nose. And... In addition, we're going to add the effect first using tracking of the nose for uh, the pixelation of the face. So this is called witness protection. And so what you want to do is just grab this and put it onto the media track. And this effect, you'll have to go to viewer instead of layer to see its effect. So when you're doing the tracking, it will switch to layer. Just go back to viewer. And then what you want to do is just kind of fit this around the face. And so this is completely circular, but if you go into it and the method, we change it to blur. And then that has a radius we can set. All right, so we can use the shape here to make it more of the shape of a head. And then we can move this up some. It doesn't move with the head yet. And so what you're going to want to do is do a new layer and make a point and let's rename the point first we'll rename this to nose nose point inside of the tracker over to the apply to layer change the layer to nose point and then press apply okay and so now we can use this nose point for the effect so for the witness protection effect if you move to position drop that down and then there's a use layer option and then change that to nose point and then you can still move this up and down just uh, how you would want to and so whenever you go through this it's following the face now this could be improved in different ways uh, but I'm just showing you a very basic way to do this first method I used was basically this and then a static image image like this and real quick I'm just going to show you this method uh, this isn't the method uh, we're going to finish with. This was like the first test that I did. And what you could do is basically move this to fit the face. And then you can add uh, the 
layer as nose point and then it will follow the face. The problem with this is the eyes don't move independent of the nose and the mouth and so we're not going to do this method. So let's go ahead and remove this. Uh, we can go ahead and create the images for him. So I'm going to take out the witch witness protection really quick. I'm going to go to the very beginning and just get a, a part where the facial expression is very straight on and direct. And then what you can do is just print the screen. After you print the screen, so inside of your screenshot, go into edit or um, open with. And I'm going to open this with GNU image manipulation program, GIMP. What I'm going to do is select the face and then do image crop to selection and then here what we're going to do is make sure that we get the proportions right. So I'm just using a pencil. Um, we're going to add a new layer here. In this layer we're going to add a point for the eye. So you can make this as large or small as you want. Uh, you can kind of base it off of the normal NPC memes. And then since this is tilted, we'll just add it at the same point. For the nose, we can go like this. So I think this is a little bit too big. So I'm going to move the point down. Do shift to do a line. I'm going to do a line for its mouth. Control and shift to make a straight line. And the mouth is usually the same size as the nose. So I'm going to do the mouth first. This and like this. And now we don't really need this uh, layer here. So this would be if you wanted to add a static image onto it, onto uh, the character. But in this case, we're actually going to do it individually. So select the eye, image, crop to selection, and then file, export as. We're gonna go into wherever we wanna save it, and we'll just call this eye export. Now press Control Z. Um, we'll do a selection for the nose. So just select the nose, do image, crop to selection, file, export as, and then we'll just call this nose.png. Now we're going to undo this. And finally we're going to do the mouth. So we're going to select the mouth, image, crop to selection, file, export as, and then mouth.png. So now that we have all these parts, we can add this to our media library in the clip, and so we have everything we need. So we'll start out with the nose. Uh, so we're gonna do the same thing as uh, before. We're gonna add this, the nose part. Uh, you can rotate it or, or stretch it however you'd like. Do is make this connect with the nose point. And so now whenever he moves, the nose is there as well. And then if you were to turn on witness protection, you can tell how this is gonna start turning out. Additionally, before I go into greater detail, I'm also gonna mention that you can add another style, a cartoon, style to the clip and this will just make things blend better so you can tell it kind of just makes it blend better it, everything looks cartoony so that now that we tracked the nose we can also track the eyes and mouth and so what we want to do is just in the tracker tracks add a new tracker and we're going to do the exact same thing we're going to move this over to the eyeball, the left eye, and we can make the green part larger. I'm just going to start tracking this right now. So I'm going to stop this at 30 seconds. So you can tell for a moment there it got off track. So a lot of times it's actually not a big deal because it actually sometimes can add uh, more movement and make it look a little bit better. Uh, but if you want to completely avoid that, what you can do is find where it is last good, like this. We're going to move a few frames forward. And then right here, we're going to move the red, red square to the center of the eye. And then we're just going to 
uh, track over everything again move moving forward so another thing that you may want to check with is making the red square maybe a little bit larger this might help with the tracking just the eye itself messing with those types of parameters might uh, make things a little bit better so I'm gonna stop here now that it's reached 30 seconds and you can see that we've tracked the eye successfully and once again we're gonna do the same type of thing we're gonna drag the eye media onto here and we're also gonna make a new point layer and we can rename this to left eye point then inside of the tracker the second tracker that we made make the layer left eye point and then choose apply again now what you want to do from left eye um, the media the eye media change this to left eye point and we'll look at the viewer so the eye we can move up and over and then we can see how it tracks and then you want to do the same thing for the right eye and the mouth so once again we're gonna do this we're gonna add another tracker and this time we're gonna track the le right eye and then we're gonna go through with this and track it all so now we're going to add the right eye so we're gonna add this as media and then what you want to do is link this once again with a new point layer so this new point we'll call right eye in this last tracker that we did we'll link it with the right eye and press apply and then for the right eye media we're going to make this the left eye point okay so here you can see both eyes are being tracked and it looks like I was using the wrong uh, point so this one's left this one is right so now you can see it's properly being tracked let's finally add the mouth well we'll do another tracking so in the tracks we'll add a new tracker this might be a little bit this one's a little bit hard to track because it slips often we're gonna keep going so now that we got the mouth tracked, once again we can add the mouth media, a new point. Well, let's let's name this new point mouth. In the tracker, we'll link it to the mouth layer. Press apply. With the mouth media, link that to the mouth point. And then in the viewer, we can move it down to the mouth, enable witness protection again, and you can see what it looks like. Okay, and lastly add that cartoon effect that we already quite keep it. So in the effects we can keep the cartoon in there. And then the last thing you might want to do is edit the audio a little bit. There are very simple audio uh, manipulations you can do in this program such as the telephone or medium room I used uh, the medium room in mine and make sure you well I did it from the editor so you can add that to the audio here it sounds a little bit uh, more robotic kind of uh, you could also edit that in uh, audacity so this is just a very simple uh, way you can do this uh, NPC meme thing in fact, I actually even like the way that I did it in this tutorial a little bit better uh, because I did it a little bit smaller. The lines are a little bit smaller in this one that we did here. And the eyes may seem a little bit more animated. And so really the last step here is to set the in out contents, 30 seconds, um, go to export, and then we would um, export this one here with the in out contents. So thank you all for watching. I hope you like this video and please subscribe if you like these types of videos.